Blam, blam. G'day, Peanuts. <laughs> Menace here with another episode of uh, Peanut Land. We're going to call this like the building of Peanut Land. Well, it's scrap mechanic, obviously. Because, like I said, that's all I, all I dang diddly played. You know, did you know that I have made 80 episodes of just building random crap and reviewing people's awesome stuff? 80. 80 episodes. And I think we're up to quite a few other. There's like probably more than 80 scrap. Whoa, 80 scrap mechanic videos, you know, on my channel, which is awesome. And I hope you enjoy all of them. Obviously, there's always links to playlists and all that stuff if you want to see my other creations. But today, um, I want to do a few things. I first of all, want to mention that I would um, be, uh, that I am, if I can speak the Engly, um, I am going to Haven Expo this weekend in Mackay. So if you are in the area, I highly recommend that you get your took us over towards... The Haven Expo in Mackay. It's going to be a blast. I'm pretty sure it starts at 4 o'clock on Saturday. So if you're over 18, you've got to go do the voting thing. Do that do that voting stuff. It's always good. And um, yeah, head over to Haven Expo. There's heaps of cool stuff there. There's going to be guests from um, Geek and Sundry, such as Matt Mercer, who you might know as the voice of uh, McCree and um, from Overwatch. And he also does, you know, he's the, uh, the DM for Critical Role, one of my favorite um, web video series in the world because it's so goddamn awesome. Oh. So we're getting a puck. Reversing that is very strange. I wonder why. It's probably because... Yeah, I get it because it doesn't... It's not like a wheel like a car. It's just... Yep. Directions. Anyway, so today in this episode... Yeah, don't forget. I'd like to also, before we do start, I'd like to give a big shout out to my sponsors, Audio Technica Australia. Thank you so much for... All the support you guys have given me, I love you a long time. You have been giving me heaps of support. Um, I've got a few microphones that is going to make our Haven Expo experience awesome. And don't worry if you can't make it to Haven. I'm going to cover it. We're going to do a video thing. And hopefully I can meet some fellow peanuts. But today, I was hoping to work on a few little side stalls. You know how like you go to a carnival or a festival or a theater, a, th a theme park? They have little side stalls. So I want to kind of work on those today. I've got three in mind. The first being this guy here, which I actually should just hook this up to the seat. Hey, right there. And we can do this. This is my version of a very tame bucking ball. <laughs> it's just, yeah, it's, it's, it doesn't really work too great. When I put a floor in, it should be all right. Um, basically, what I've done is I've made... Turn it off. Get you down here. Yeah, I've just made this zigzag of bearings, okay? And we've got the two engines running these two horizontal bearings here. And they will spin it around. And then these are connected to the controller. And the controller is set up in a various set of ways so that they kind of go back and forth. Because if I just had them all spinning in 360 degrees, it would um, end up being horribly poop that's basically what it would be so we're going to build a bit of a floor for this we will use the wood to start off with and um as always we might we might just use our fence post to kind of uh because i want to raise it up how well, let's see i think that should be a sufficient height we'll just kind of have it here uh we might like that i'll put just a little pole in here uh, I don't even know how far out that is. I kind of want to measure this. One duvalaki. That's perfect. Cool. So we'll just make a bit of a floor. And then we'll put a bit of a fence around it. Because obviously people will get um, hurt. And flown off and flung around inside the uh, the amazing bucking bull ride that I have made. And these little side stalls will be pretty cool fun. I reckon. So the other ones are um, also very simple. And they probably have less of interaction than the, the bull ride does. But they're just more so for prettiness because that's what we want. We want it to look cool. Get this down the right way. We'll chuck the floor down. It's not going to be a terribly huge floor because we really don't need it to be. So we're going to put this in here as well. You know, I really should start using shift instead of just like rotating through all of the things all right so from here we're gonna make sort of a, a floor it's gonna have to be a hole in it because otherwise it's not gonna work is it is it now 
We can hide all this guff in here. Well, I will figure out what size hole we want to put in the middle when I get to it. Finish that off. So, I kind of want to do that and that. Uh, that's probably too big. I wish I could... I could probably move those engines a bit further away. Uh, how many is that? One, two... Actually, no, I'll put that back. Like that. Alright, let's see. That's fine. This is a very tame bucking bull. I mean, it sort of is fun. If only there was a bit more interaction with it, you know. You get the gist of it though, don't you, friends? It's a bucking bull. Whee! Oh, that's interesting. Stop. Okay. Um, fences though. Do I want to go full fence mode? Like, is this going to be too high? Oh, it might not be. Is this the same width as the... No, it's not. So can... I'm going to have to just... Ugh. Put them in the middle. It's going to be like this. Like so. Get you in there. In there. And in there. And you know what? I might do what we did on the other one. Is I might chuck in... Um, where are you? These guys. I kind of like that idea. Like that. Uh, I need to also... Oh, that's upside down. I need to work on a gate. Let's let's leave that for the gate for now. Um, we can do this. Put that there. Then I might chuck a like, like a block. On there. And on there. It doesn't really matter what way they go. And then like that. Purdy. Isn't that purdy? Alright, so this guy here, actually I probably should change that to that way, that's fine. And then this can go on top, just cause. So jump up here, put our little taps on top again. Uh, same with, oops, no we want to do this. Oh come on, no, that should be fine. You and then you. And there. And then there. Cool. And then we'll go across. I'm not going to worry too much about the colors right now. Um, yeah, I don't know what, what colors or scheme I really want to do on the bucking bull ride. I just want to kind of get moving into the next ones, you know. Um, because those next rides might take me a little bit. We'll just do this for now. And I'll, f I'll figure out the the what you call it the fence and the gate and whatnot later on but this is the basic gist of this single one here all right let's work on the next one because i am running out of time super quick wow i do happen to waffle on a bit so the next one i want to make a little stall uh but first of all what we'll do is we'll make it's going to be sort of here we'll just make a little like that um and then i'm going to pop down a bearing here and then just put a block like that. Alright, and then this guy can go here. And then we go a block along there. Or we have to also... Uh, we'll just attach this for now. So this is going to be a duck chute, right? Because we have little duckies. And we might just get rid of that. Get rid of that. Um... Little duckies, where are you? And it's the best I can come up with without making tracks, if that makes sense. Ducky. Hey, stop it. Ducky, ducky. Uh, we might just put more duckies on. In you just go. Have I got... Yeah, I've got one too many. Or one not enough. Actually, I think if we drop these out here, make it a little bit... More spaced out is more aesthetic. Okay, so we just can just boop, boop, boop. And uh, this guy can go the opposite way. And I should be able to, in theory, in my mind, I mean, in my mind, this is going to work. Pow. 
All right, cool. Ducky's going way too fast. That does work, though. Ducky's not fast enough. I wonder when they added that noise. That must be a pretty recent thing. Cool. So that is going to be the stand for the duckies. And we'll make like a little sh little bench here where you're supposed to shoot things off. Like here. This can be the bench. Can probably go a bit more. Yes. And then we'll make um, like this. Actually, we'll make it just a big wall across here. And then we'll do the same at the back. Make a bit of a wall. And we can paint it like there's grass and stuff, I reckon. Um, get this guy on here. The reason I want to kind of get this all done is because I want to make it, you know, like a little hut, I guess, if that makes sense. We can't do that, though. Uh, we can leave that there, though. We, I don't think Ducky's going to hit that. Yes, they are. That's cool. And then we'll do this. Ducky's not going to hit that. And in there. So there is the ducky chute. And then we might actually put a bit of a roof. Make this a little bit higher. Right. Like that. And then like that. Now, the next thing that I want to build, I have not tested. So it's, it might not even work and we might have to cut it away. But for now, I want to get these. Oh, why don't I do that? Uh, I want to go start off there. Then we can do every second one. Uh, this is not going to quite work there. I just want to make, like, drapes, you know? Little pretty drapes. That's fine. Doesn't look too bad. Alright, cool. We can paint this, actually. Um, if we get in here, we can paint it from the other side. Can't we? We need to get our paintbrush out. And which... Where the duckies go? So we want to have a, a nice blue sky. A nice pretty blue sky. Like that. Is that a good... Good spot for the ducks. And then we'll have a bit of a green landscape. Through here. Alright, and then we can we can add like a bit of bit different you know, colour coming through. Like that. And make a little little sun. Up in the corner. Oh, isn't that pretty? Pew! We could shoot our duckies. Uh, I might colour the rest of this in, you know festival colors but that turned out pretty cool i like it all right this next one we're just going to experiment all right because there's yeah I, I don't know how this is going to work what i want to do is make a dinger okay so if you get you get your hammer out and you go Hwah! and then pew, and then the thing comes back up and down so to make that we're going to need to get some of this stuff out and we'll start off just making a tea piece okay no tp a tea piece um, chuck us down here. And then... I want to make like a... A track, I guess? I don't know how that would work. It's like... Alright, I think I might just open this up to the floor if anyone has any ideas. And I might even think about it a bit more. Okay, the idea is that you just get rid of that, and then you just kind of get your hammer out and... <laughs> the wrong way, but you know what I mean, right? Let's try again. Uh, we have to disconnect this. Every time. Uh, we might just have to stand up a little bit. Just get a little bit of a platform going. Excellent, and... Not so excellent. What's going on? Scrap mechanic, please. <laughs> oh, man. Here we go. We're doing it. I don't even. 
All right, whatever. We made a couple of little machines. This one's this one actually turned out pretty good. Same with the duckies. Way better than I had ex expected. We can kind of close this off too, I reckon. Just get rid of that. And we'll do the same on the other side. Whoop. Cool, our duckies should work. Before we do that too. Let's see. I think it's hitting that bottom one. It was. All good. That's pretty. <laughs> oh man, I'm an artist. Artiste. Well, that's going to be it for this episode, guys. I've got um, a few people. I need to check my emails over again. Some people sent me some stuff um, for creations for Peanut Land, I think. So there's a few things I need to update. Um, oh, I've been lazy as well. I still haven't fixed up Cool Robots. Um, this one over here, I haven't finished that one off. So I'll get to that in due time. But the next few days, I might be like flat out busy because obviously we've got Haven Expo coming up. Um, don't forget you can check out Haven Expo if you, there's like a link in the description for Haven Expo, you can check that out. Um, uh, as always, if you've got something you want to send me, chuck in an email, send it on, there's an email address below. Thank you so much for watching guys, I really appreciate all the nice comments and everything you've been doing. My name is Menace, I'll see you all in the next video. I think I said a Menace a couple times in mine, yeah. Goodbye. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video. Make sure you check out the rest of my channel and hit that subscribe button if you like what you see. Thanks for watching.